So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P2096 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P2096 code? Well, it's a post catalyst fuel trim system to lean bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there are sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then they also have heater elements built in that do a few things to help the system go into what's called a closed loop quicker. And they also monitor the catalytic converter. And with the P2096 code, these sensors are picking up that the system's running too lean, which basically means the engine's getting more air than fuel. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad mass airflow sensor, could be a bad oxygen sensor, could be an exhaust leak, could be a vacuum leak. There could be some kind of problem going on inside the fuel system, like the fuel pressure could be low, or there might be a bad injector. And it's also possible that the catalytic converter's gone bad. And so this code is a little bit problematic since so many different things can cause it. But the first thing to go and check is going to be the mass airflow sensor or the MAF sensor. And this is located up around the air intake box somewhere. And basically this sensor measures all the air that's going into the engine. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the cylinders. And so if this sensor goes bad or if it gets dirty or anything like that, then it can throw off how much air is going into the engine and it can cause issues. Quite often these sensors just become dirty and just need to be cleaned up. There's some special cleaner called mass airflow sensor cleaner where you can take them out clean them up clear the codes and then see if the code comes back if you can't get a hold of mass airflow sensor cleaner then isopropyl alcohol quite often works pretty good but the first thing to go and test is going to be that map sensor and there's some good youtube videos on how you go about testing these sensors and so the next thing that can cause this problem is going to be a bad oxygen sensor mainly with the sensor two and there can be some differences on where the sensors are located and things like this it's going to depend on the type of the honda the year and things like this for example here's a 2012 honda odyssey and as you can see bank one is back here up against the firewall and with the p2096 code it's usually going to point to a sensor two although these sensors do work together so quite often it's best to check out both of them but the next thing they're going to do is to locate the bank one oxygen sensors where they're located and either test them or replace them there's some really good videos on how you go about testing these one thing to keep a lookout for is going to be exhaust leaks because if there's any exhaust leaks then outside air can get into there and it can throw those sensors off so be sure to keep a lookout for any exhaust leaks an intake vacuum leak can also cause this problem so be sure to keep a lookout for any loose hoses or anything like this going into the intake because if there's a vacuum leak then it can throw things off and so if you've gone through and you tested everything else out and you know that's all good, then the next thing that could cause this problem is going to be a fuel system problem. And this is going to include things like the fuel pump, the fuel filter, the fuel injectors, and things like this. And a very common method to see if this is an issue is that you use a fuel pressure gauge and you check to see what the fuel pressure is at the fuel rail. And then you look up what your engine's rated to be running at. And so say it's rated to be running at 50 PSI, but you go to do a fuel pressure test and it's running at like 20 or 30 or something like that, then you know the fuel pressure is low and it's not running where it should be. And so again, that could be something like a bad fuel pump or a bad fuel filter or something along those lines. But for some reason, the fuel pressure going up to the engine is not working at the correct pressure. And the last thing on the list that can cause this problem is going to be a bad catalytic converter. And again, there's some different methods for go about trying to test to see if you have a bad catalytic converter. But if you've gone through and you tested everything else, then the next thing to go and test is going to be the catalytic converter. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P2096 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.